Did you know that the Photos application in Microsoft Windows has many tricks up its sleeves? At first glance, you might think that this photo application is simple and it's here only to display photos or to delete them. But the truth is that when you dig in this application, you're gonna find some tricks that are really very helpful in your photo editing needs. So this is what happened to me when I wanted to remove the background from one of my pictures. So I discovered that in the Photos application, you can do this simply with one click. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the tricks that I learned in this application that also helped me in the editing of the photos that I use, for instance, for my thumbnails in my YouTube videos. So let me start first by showing you how to remove the background from a picture in the Photos application. So to remove the background from a photo with the Photos application, you need, of course, to open the photo in the Photos app. So this is a photo here. So if the photos are not associated with the Photos application, you can simply right click any picture and then choose Open With and then choose Photos. So this way, Photos will open the picture that you wanna work with. So here, this is a picture that I have and I wanna remove the background. So the first thing you need to do is to put the picture into editing mode. So you need to click this icon here. And when you click the icon, this icon will appear, which is called background. Click on it and the photos application will analyze automatically the picture. And like 99% of the time, it will get it right. On the right here, you have remove and then replace. So I'm gonna click on remove and you see how it removed the background. And the nice thing about it is that you can save the picture in PNG format. So this way the background will be transparent and you can transpose it to any background you want. Now, if it got it wrong, this is how you do so to adjust it. See this tool here, it's called background brush tool. Toggle it to on and you have add mask and remove mask. So to add the mask, it means to remove some of the picture that, for instance, were not removed automatically. Let's say here that I want to remove this sleeve here. So simply when you have add mask, just click on it and then drag like this. And you see how it removed it. Now, if you want to remove a mask, for instance, if it masks part of the photo that you don't want to mask, let's, for instance, unmask the sleeve here. Click on remove mask and do the same thing. And it will remove the mask and you can select what you want to appear in the picture or no. So now if also you want to replace the background with any color, you can click here on replace and choose the color you want and it will be replaced with the color you want. So let me go back to just removing the background and now you can save the photo here by clicking save as copy. And it's very important to choose PNG format and then you can save the photo. So let me save it on the desktop to show you what will happen with the photo. So here's the photo saved on the desktop and you see it doesn't have any background. The second trick I want to show you is how to crop the image using a predefined aspect ratio. You know, if you click on edit here and the first thing it will appear here are these holders. So if you drag these holders, you crop the image, but you crop it in a free form format and you don't know the aspect ratio. So if you wanna put it 16 over nine or four over three, you need to guess it. So instead of guessing it, look at this icon here that is called the free, click on it. And now you can choose the aspect ratio you want. So for instance, if you wanna crop it in 16 over nine, just choose 16 over nine. And now when you crop it, it will crop only with this aspect ratio. And this is very useful. So for instance, if you wanna crop it for Instagram, you can crop it in nine over 16. And here's a picture cropped in nine over 16. And now you can click on done and save a copy of the picture that is cropped. And here's a picture cropped. The third trick I want to show you is how you can erase parts of the picture and the photos application will apply an AI algorithm to merge the background with the erased part so that it won't appear that it was erased. So let's edit the picture. So here also in the photos application, click on the edit icon and on the top, choose erase here. And let's say for instance, I want to erase this red here display from my picture. So simply click on it and drag it like this to the right. And now release the mouse and it will apply the algorithm automatically and see how it erased it as if it didn't exist and it merged it with the background, even with the shadow that was here, it maintained the shadow. 
So now you can simply save also a copy of the image and you'll have the image adjusted like you want it without the object that was erased. What I want to show you now is a bunch of settings that also exist in the photos application and that will help you like change the colors of the picture and also maybe enhance its colors. So also click on the edit icon here and in the edit icon, I'm going to start with the filter menu. So click on filter and you have here something called auto enhance. So with one click, you can enhance your picture. Keep your eyes on the picture when I click on auto enhance. And you're gonna see how it became bolder and more like have prominent colors so let me remove the auto enhance now and you see here that you have also a bunch of predefined filters so for instance if you wanted to put on vivid cool you can click vivid cool it will auto apply it and you can here even adjust the intensity of the filter like you want it so let me remove everything here to show you the other options now I want to show you, if you click on adjustment, how you can change the colors. For instance, if you want to make the picture black and white. So if you want to make the picture black and white under color saturation, you can drag the slider all the way to the left and see how the picture became black and white. And if you want like to make the color bolder, you can also slide the slider to the right and the colors become bolder. And you have also here many settings that you can adjust like the brightness, you can adjust it, the exposure, the contrast, and so on and so forth. Now, there are also two other functionalities in the Photos application. So let me show them to you quickly. So I'm going to click on Cancel here. The first one is Microsoft Designer. So see this icon here, click on it, and this will go to the web and it will open Microsoft Designer. If you're logged in with your Microsoft account to your Windows computer, it will log you in with your Microsoft account. And here in Microsoft Designer, you can add text, for instance, to the picture. And you can do a bunch also of stuff. And notice here that you have something called boosts. And these are like paid boosts that you can purchase. And Microsoft Designer will work with Copilot to give you like enhancement for the picture using AI but it will give you at first for free 15 boosts if you want me to cover more options in Microsoft Designer let me know in the comments section below let me close this and now I'm gonna show you the clip champ and clip champ is to edit videos so I'm gonna close this and this is one of my videos I'm gonna right click on it and then choose open with and then I'm gonna choose photos let me pause the video and here, if you click on ClipChamp, it will open the ClipChamp application and it will log you in with your Microsoft account if you are logged in with your Microsoft account to your Windows computer. Now, in ClipChamp, you can do some basic editing things and also you can export your video in Full HD, but you cannot export it in 4K and you cannot do advanced editing things unless you purchase the paid version. So this is here, the paid version, unfortunately, it's not free anymore like Microsoft Video Editor was free before. So if you click on upgrade, it will give you the options how you can purchase it. And I found that this is a shame from Microsoft that they don't give you this software for free. If you found that this video helped you in any way, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and to give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you on the next video.